Welcome back to your D121 Fall 2020 to our PS4 cloning bridge exercise that we're working on cloning on a cloning layer. And I just, I've been doing some cloning and I've been trying to do my best. And again, sometimes you could put in things that aren't there. I put a little light in between things and I'm trying to be as random as I can to not have repeating elements. It's not always easy, but there's elements where they go through the trees where you want to have some trunk there or you want to have the main branch going through, but you don't want to repeat something. So I can borrow that there, put this here, see how that looks. It's not like people are going to know, but you don't want to look for something that looks exactly like it. So I'm going to option click here, kind of continue this. This is easy stuff in here because it won't look that, that repetitive. I could sometimes throw some dark areas in there and I'll copy some from here. So I'm just looking for things around it that look nice. Sometimes I'll try to continue things that I'm doing. So it looks like they, they kind of continue but again there I'm repeating that shape that shape so I'm not doing everything perfectly here I'm looking for some dark areas to kind of go in here and I might look for another dark area that has an edge on it I might put this thing up here to make it look like it continues from down there so any little technique you can do to cover over things and just lay it over and just see how it looks And again, I'm keeping my finger right on my Alt key. I'm not even using this thing anymore. I'm just kind of doing this. Now, I'm not worried too much about this down here. Now, here I have some area to go through. And I'll try to make that continue on there. Throw a little light stuff in there just for a little variation. There's a little dark in there, so that looks okay. I still have some area to fix up in here. And that, I think, looks okay. And I have a little bit here. Now, here's what I kind of wanted to show you and I'll use my space bar and move over here if you wanted to get rid of this stop sign now you'd want to get areas that's right next to it now you can even make a selection to kind of go over it so you could just do that and what I mean is I don't know if this is a straight line or not but you could make a selection here like that and kind of paint inside that area and kind of block it off now or you can make your brush a little bit harder because I know in Photopea, the selections are a little hard to see. So I'm going to zoom in even more. And what I'll try to do is sample some areas. So I'm going to go back to my clone stamp tool and make it a little bit harder since I'm doing a harder edge. Now, not all the way, because remember, it's a photograph. You don't want real hard edges, but I'm going to option click or alt click right here. And then I'm going to go up here and just continue that. Now, I'm not worried if it looks perfect, but I just want, want a good line here. So I'm just going to go up there and you could even keep going a little bit just I'm only worried about getting that wood line so I'll even go down here and maybe alt click right on that line and then go up here now I'm not sure where that's going to end up with the stop sign but I'll just try to do that so that looks okay and then I'll just try to get some areas in here kind of fill that in now it's not perfect try not to have too many repeated areas I guess that looks okay and one thing you have to watch out for, if you're using a harder brush, you don't want to make a circular area. If you've ever worked on this in CSE 103 and you know you're working in the ocean waves and you see little circular things, that doesn't look good. Here's some wire here I missed. So I'll just try to go in here a little bit. And again, that's where I, you got to watch doing things real quick because that's where you kind of make mistakes. You're like, oh, I'll just go here quick and, and you kind of do something real, you know, something that looks very repetitive. So I'll try not to do that throw a dark area in there that looks okay all right so I have that side now again this is challenging because there's not an easy place to get that from except for down here so I'll option click down here and I'll just try to line it up before you do anything now you could get a bigger brush too so if you want to get more of that but I'll, I'm only worried about the edge first so I'm just lining that up now I almost have to alt click here to get down there and I'll just kind of go in that area there just to make that almost go down further and I'll try to alt click down here again and just line that up up here so that so it looks somewhat normal now it looks a little lighter and that's where a softer brush might help so I'm actually gonna go here and soften my brush a little bit take it down to like 60 and then I'll go down here again and alt click and then I'll just try to lay that in there so it's kind of close I mean it's not gonna be perfect and then I'll alt click here and try to get rid of some of that stuff try to make the line as straight as I can and I'll try to go up enough so it looks so that it looks like the light's going up because it's someplace there's there's shadow in there that's gonna get covered up. So that looks okay. Now I have still have some stop sign stuff here. So I'm gonna make my brush smaller. I don't know if you could see it. If you ever need to make your bigger or smaller, go into an area like a lighter area. And then I'm just gonna 
option click and just paint a little bit in here. And I'm just kind of clicking and painting over some of the red stuff. I'll leave some of the white stuff there because it actually looks like, like old paint or something. And again, you can make the brush a little bit bigger. You just don't want to see circles and you don't want to see repetitive areas. So that actually looks pretty good. Now, zoom out and look at it. And if it looks okay, that looks pretty good. So I didn't do too bad with that area. It didn't take that long. Now, another area we're going to work on is over here. Now, the hard part is going through this stuff. And I'm going to do the tree stuff first, and then I'll work on the bottom stuff. And I want to get a nice area that I could see everything nice, and I'll save what I did. And you can see this isn't something that you rush through. So you're not going to rush through this. So that's why I said even if you're working in non-Google Drive, you might want to just save as PSD downloaded, and if you take a break, then reopen it and work on it later. But again, some of the techniques, here's an edge where I need to get blue sky down here. So I'm going to look for an area where I have leaves that have an edge. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. I'll move it over here and make it bigger. And then you can, you can hit this thing if you want. And maybe I'll go in here and get that area. And then when I lay it in here, you could see that I now borrowed some bottom of leaves and then sky below it. So even though it's similar, I'm even going to lay it so it kind of matches up. Now I'm not going to do any more of that because now I just have regular sky I want to put in here. So I'll just try to throw some sky in here and I can make my brush smaller. Some sky in there. Now I could, I could sample some other kind of branches to go over there, but I'll just go smaller. I'm going to zoom in before I do anything else because I don't want to get sloppy. So now I'm going to really zoom in here and I need to replace this edge here. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to alt click right here and then I'm going to kind of lay this over top so it kind of lines up because you want to make these connections between here. So I'll alt click on the other side of it and try to lay that in there. Now I'm not worried about, I know I have some leaves there that look repeated, but I'm worried about the edge there. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm kind of replacing the, the edge, the eave, I guess, of that thing. And I'll option click here and just get rid of some of the, the leaves that are in there. And now my brush is a little softer, so I may make it either smaller to get in there against that edge if you want to get rid of some of that and go over here and get rid of some of that. And that looks okay. And, I mean, you could go in really far to try and get it. I'd probably, yeah, that looks okay. All right, so now I'm going to zoom out just a little and we still have this whole thing with the pole to go over. Now you have to look at it and say, well, I'm going to try and continue stuff from either side of this. But the hardest part is up here because you don't have this kind of stuff up here. So you just want to look where you can borrow stuff. And actually, if you can borrow this open, it's not a window, but there are kind of openings in the top of the bridge. You could almost borrow this opening and put it there, almost clone that. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger here and, and just lay it over top and see what you could do. You don't have to commit to it, but I'll hold Alt and I'll kind of hold click right here and then move over here and then see if I can continue this and just lay that in there. And sometimes you could even kind of continue it and go down and clone the whole thing. Now, I don't know if it's going to be perfect, but it may not matter. Now, you can see that got off a little bit and that's okay. I'll try to go over here and kind of lay that in there right over top. And I might have to make my brush smaller to get some of this now. And now I'm going to option click in here and just get some of this. Now this is not easy, so I, I don't expect you to find this really easy. This is a challenging one, that's why we do it for an exercise. Now I'm going to lay this in here and paint over some of this. Now I have to watch because I'm it's sampling some of the bridge that I don't want. So I'm going to go here, sample what I just did, and try and lay it in there. And then maybe go up here and try to just put that edge right against it. Now, luckily, it's an old bridge, so it's not perfectly straight. The lines aren't really straight. Now, I have a little kind of round line I see in there, so I'm going to make my brush small and see if I can just kind of just go through that a little bit. And even just keep alt-clicking over to what I have, and that, that looks pretty good. Now, I still don't have this right yet, so I'm going to alt-click over here and make my brush bigger. Now it takes the alt when your brush is bigger, so make your brush bigger first. So if you want to sample a bigger area, make your brush bigger first. And now I'm going to try and go in here and just try and go down. And it's going to mirror what I'm doing 
and that doesn't look too bad actually and I it just kind of follow what I did now I'll try to do this I'll try to option click here and kind of lay this over top as best I can again it doesn't have to be perfect because the bridge isn't perfect luckily no one's going to be staring at that part but I'll try to get this part right here and that doesn't look right so now I'm going to alt click this part so I get some of that white in the bottom and I'll try to just get over that and I accidentally click so you can undo if you undo you can do that again I'm gonna lay it seems like my mouse is moving around a little bit and I think I'm gonna let that alone I'm gonna work on the bottom part now so I'm gonna hit alt and then try to just finish this up now you can see what's happening there you could try to get it from either end I'm not sure what's gonna work out but I'm just trying to lay on the lines of the these panels here even if they're a little bent that's okay and I got to get a little dark in there because I missed some of that dark stuff. And I'll zoom back just to see how I'm doing it. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, again, over the whole, you know, if you're looking back at the bridge, no one's going to look at that that closely. So you just don't want to do things that really stick out. But I, I think that looks okay. It looks natural when I zoom back. So I'm going to go back into it again and then just keep working my way down. So I may stop some of the recording on this because you're not going to, you're not going to want to watch all of this, but I'm going to just try to line things up. I'm going to try to paint across as much as I can, but it's not always going to work because it's going to pick up things that I don't want. So I might go on the other side here and try to lay that in. Luckily, there's enough mix of colors that I, I might be able to get some, some samples from other places. my space bar and kind of move and I'm, and I'm almost almost done here and they're getting kind of darker down here so it might be easier to just go across a little bit and that looks all right now you have to watch down here because there's little poles underneath so I might actually kind of copy that pole and go down copy that same pole I don't even know if the pole would be there but I'm just gonna copy the same pole I'm not sure if anybody would even know that but I think it looks okay and actually I think I'm okay because I think the poles here I think there's there's still a pole but it's so dark it's blending in so I'm, I can do this pretty easy just get rid of some of this stuff just put some of the the bridge cement some of this dark stuff here just kind of break the lines a little bit now there's there's a lot of things you could do here you can you can take away these wood poles if you want I you can do all kinds of things and there's a couple things back here a couple tree kind of things that I might want to just work on so I'm just gonna all click here again don't get sloppy look for areas that kind of look different and look like the trees could be different so I might go up here and find a dark area that looks good in there but don't get sloppy you know it looks pretty good so far so try not to get sloppy with it so here's a dark area I'll just cover up that dark area a little bit here's a dark area up there I could put a dark area in here and I think I got the wires pretty good here's another dark area I'll do the dark area down there so that looks pretty good and if I go back I got rid of everything so actually I didn't do too bad it didn't take that long to do that and you could try to get rid of these things if you want but right now what I'm gonna do just to make the video shorter is I'm gonna save it and I think what I'll do here, I think I'm going to take a break. And then I'll just finish off everything in part three of the video. I'll do the vignette, I'll do the colorizing, which won't take long, and then I'll show you how to upload it and share your file. But that's pretty much the cloning. So we're good with the cloning, and you can go and see, wow, before, after, before, after. And you can marvel at your work that you did. So that's the end of part two. We'll come back with part three. We'll do the colorizing. We'll put a vignette on here, and we'll save both a JPEG and will share your Photoshop file, your PSD file, I should say, for part three.